Welcome to Decoded Medicine, where we learn the concepts of medicine. Today, let's discuss the differences between placenta previa, abruption, and rupture of the uterus. As you can see here, in a normal pregnancy, the fetus lies inside the uterus and the head of the fetus or the presenting part of the fetus will be close to the cervix and the placenta lies high above in the uterus. However, there could be some situations where the placenta can lie lower than that, in which case it can be called as a low-lying placenta. And when the placenta is very low-lying that it's close to the cervical opening, it's called as placenta previa. Whereas placental abruption is a situation where the placenta gets separated from the uterus earlier than it should. We all know that after delivery of the baby, the placenta will be delivered out. But in abruption, the placenta gets separated from the uterine wall or earlier than it should. So here is the placenta, here's the uterine wall. So because it gets separated from the uterine wall, there can be bleeding in that area. And the bleeding can be external, where at that time the mother can present with bleeding symptoms per vaginum. But there can be some situations where the bleeding can be internal. In those cases, it's called a concealed hemorrhage, uh, which cannot be seen outside. When you look at the difference between placenta previa and abruption, in placenta previa, it's just a low-lying placenta. Whereas in abruption, the placenta is separated from the uterine lining earlier than when it has to. And even in placenta previa, there can be bleeding, but this bleeding will be painless. Whereas in abruption, because there is separation of the placenta from the uterus, this can lead to painful bleeding. And in case of rupture of the uterus, as the name itself says, the uterus is ruptured. Why can that happen? Most common situations are having an old scar in the uterus, like if somebody has undergone a cesarean section. For example, uh, here, like they have undergone previous cesarean section, which led to weakening of the uterine wall. So in this, uh, in the next subsequent pregnancy, because of the weakening of the uterine wall, the uterus ruptures. Here, probably the cesarean scar would have been on a transverse direction. So you see the tear on a transverse direction. And uh, here you can see the baby's feet coming out of the ruptured wall. Here, this is probably a vertical incision in a previous pregnancy that weakened in the subsequent pregnancy, leading to rupture of the uterus along the line of the uterine scar. So this is another table clearly explaining the differences. So normally during labor, there is gradual onset of contractions and there could be some slight bleeding as the cervix dilates and this is called as bloody show. Whereas in placenta previa, as we saw before, there could be ble bleeding but it's typically painless. But in case of rupture and abruption, you can obviously imagine that there will be painful bleeding. And in case of the rupture of the uterus, because the uterus has ruptured, so the muscle of the uterus cannot contract anymore. So the contraction ceases here. So you cannot feel any contraction in the mother. Whereas in abruption, the uterus is still in place, so you can you try and rupture there is continuous pain and bleeding the contractions cease there are no contractions the uterus is atonic atonic meaning to tone means the contraction or tone of the uterus atonic meaning it does not contract and in case of abruption there is bleeding pain in the uterus and painful contractions if you look at the ultrasound finding during normal labor, the normal placenta fetus is normally placed, whereas in placenta previa, the ultrasound shows that the placenta lies within 2 cm of the cervical opening. So it lies very close to the opening of the cervix. And in rupture of the uterus, there is some defect in the uterine wall that can be seen on ultrasound. 
and in abruption of the placenta you may see some hematoma or thickened placenta hematoma because of the bleeding hemato meaning blood and oma is the tumor so the concealed hemorrhage is called as the hematoma when it comes to the risk factors placenta previous some risk factors that could predispose to this could be a previous history of placenta previa c-section smoking or multiparity in case of rupture could be a history of hysterotomy like hystero Autumny means hystero is uterus, autumny is creating an opening in something. So if uh, for some reason, maybe for a diagnostic procedure or maybe for laparoscopic procedure, there could have been um, some hole made into the uterus that could have weakened or even a previous cesarean section, the scar which weakens that could lead to the rupture so those could be some risk factors and abruption uh, there's risk factors include cocaine use tobacco use hypertension in the mother or premature rupture of membranes thanks for watching the video so far and i have a bonus topic for you it's placenta accreta so here is a normal image of pregnancy here you can see the fetus lying close to the cervical opening uh, so here again you can see the wall of the uterus you can see how nicely the placenta is attached to the uterine wall in case of accreta the placenta goes too much deep into the uterine wall so you can see the placenta has developed too deeply into the wall of the uterus can clearly see the contrast between the two images this invasion that is how deeply the placenta goes into the uterine wall depending on that it could be termed as accreta increta or percreta so in percreta there is deepest invasion of the placenta into the uterine wall so the lighter colored structure here represents the uterus and the red color structures represent the placenta you can see how gets deeper inside the uterine wall and uh, here is another image showing the same thing you can see the normal placenta accreta increta and percreta gets deeper into the uterine wall normally after childbirth the placenta separates from the uterine wall but with placenta accreta because it's lying too much deep into the wall of the uterus it remains attached I hope you found this video helpful. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, leave me a feedback and please turn on your notifications so you can get updated to every video that I post going forward. See you again in another video. Until then, happy learning.